WBAV is V101.9. You're listening to V101.9, playing the best variety of hits and oldies. We have a very special guest in the house, Ruben Studdard. I've been waiting all day to see this. The Velvet Teddy Bear! Oh, man. <laughs> How are you doing, Ruben? Sounds so good coming out of your lips. Oh, well, see, thank you. Don't be flirting because I know you just got married, Big Daddy. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, now, before we went to the break, one of the things we talked about uh, was uh, raising money and, and, and difficulties in this business. Right. And we were talking about the whole artist royalty rights and all that. But I want to talk to you about the 205. One of the things you're known <laughs> for on American Idol is you came out and you had your... Um, area code on your jersey. The whole, right. I mean, you created a whole style right there. Right. And then later on, it's like it, it came back to, you know, be a mess. Yeah, what was, really went on with that? It was a mess, man. Exactly what you said. Like, you know, people that you allow to be in your life. Uh, like who? Call some names. We want to know. Not, I'm not going to do that because that's not necessary. Um, Somebody in your family? No, cousin? not even that. I'm just saying. Because everybody know, got a bad cousin. The people that, you know. <laughs> Y'all, you laughing because you know. The people that was doing the shirts with me, uh -huh. you know, they were very, you know, unaccommodating after, you know, I won the show. And, you know, they had a, a great opportunity to do something had they been willing to partner, go in partnership with me mm -hmm. on the situation. But they, you know, wanted 100% of everything. Oh, no. You know, and it just wasn't right. And nobody ever knew who they was until I wore the shirts. Of course, we've been playing together the wedding song of the year. Really? Oh, no. my gosh. Yeah, we love that. Wow. And we love Ruben in Love. Thank you. So, now, I want to take some calls from our listeners, but let me ask you first. Okay. You know, love is what, Ruben? Love is everything. It's everything? It is. You know, I, I, everything I do, I base it on what I think God would say. And the Bible in First John, uh, the fourth chapter, it says, Preach. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is one of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So love is everything. Wow. Ruben Studdard, not only is he a living example, but he knows the word. I'm, my, my, I'm very my. impressed with that. But that's your background. That's how you were raised, right? That's correct. All right, so you were Train up a child in the way he should go. <laughs> and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's what Come I'm talking on, about. Uh, see, you know what? And I, I got to talk about it because I'm engaged. I'm getting married in September. Uh -huh. And we're taking the premarital classes. Did you guys do that? Oh, uh, yeah. So and that's important, isn't you can't, it? You can't wear your feelings on your sleeve in them premarital nah, classes. No, because they out. come with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And one of the things we yeah. just learned when we My about, feelings got hurt a couple of times. In really? Like, that's what you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> so you got surprises when you went to... Uh, oh, yeah. Because, you know, that you know, you know, y'all start feeling like y'all could just say whatever y'all want to when the preacher in there. Uh, well, we Pastor, can. that's how I feel right here. <laughs> like, Talking, Jack. Tell us about your brand new lovely wife. Oh man, she is she is my queen. She is my everything, and she is at home right now while I'm out here trying to make these biscuits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to just talk about what I did. You know, I was, you know, when I turned 26, I was just having so much fun. I just mm -hmm. said I would never, I never settle down. Well, da, da, yeah, da. and if I think about some of, about some of your lyrics, like in "Sorry, Sorry about the hot <laughs> tub." <laughs> and the, Strip club. It was just way too much. You know right, what I'm and together, having... like, what? who has got, what are the women putting their lips on? on the, you said that there's a lot, like, with the lips on the glass, lipstick on the glass. On the window, yeah. On the window, like, they kissing the windows at the house? Yeah, they got on the car? It's saying goodbye. <laughs> it's, oh, okay, I needed that cleared up for me. Yeah. I didn't understand. But, but man, I, I tell you're you. You're a new man now. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I, I really think my wife, um, I, I credit her for, for getting me into this place right now. Like, I. I'm in a really good place right now. It's because mm -hmm. of me being married and settled. So, yeah. Now, when you say that, you're talking about emotionally, philosophically, everything, but emotionally, spiritually, everything. career too. Career too. So now, besides because, the because new CD, having because having responsibility makes you work harder, and uh -huh. it makes you cut out all the foolishness that you did when you, you know, were playing. So I, you know, I don't play a lot anymore, okay. except when I'm on the bus with my background singers. We joke a lot, but other than that, it's about, it's the, all business. about the business. All right, that's what I'm talking about, because go get your money, get the family taken care of. That's right. Um, so on the new CD, Love Is, uh, when you're out and you're doing songs from it, mm -hmm. um, well, first of all, let me ask you, what song does everybody ask for from you? Uh, 
when they get the album, the, the ladies really love. They don't make them like you no more. I don't, you know. And I have to be honest, it wasn't one of my favorite songs. Uh -huh. And my wife chose the record. I I was about to cut the song off the album, and she was like, "That's my favorite song. Don't cut that." <laughs> okay. And um, yeah. Every time we do a show, they go crazy over that record. Um, well, I would be happy to play that for you, but let me ask you, what is of the older songs? If you don't sing it in concert, what do people, you know, get mad about? The old, like my old songs? Yeah. Probably sorry. Oh, they, yeah. yeah. They, well, they, 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 I mean, they scream, like when we're doing a show, like if I'm doing some other songs, sing sorry! <laughs> I'm getting to it. You're getting <laughs> But um, well, we well, you know what their favorites are—the old and the new. What's of all your music? Mm -hmm. Do you have a song that means a lot to you when you're performing it on stage? Um, it's a song on this new album that I just I recorded in Denmark. It's called "Footprints in the Sand." That's really um, that sounds I mean, spiritual, is it? Yeah. But all your music is spiritual because it's all about love. That's correct. Well, tell us about Footprints in the Sand from your brand new CD, Love Is, Reuben. Footprints in the Sand is a song that's basically just saying, you know, that you want to leave a great legacy behind and you don't want to be forgotten. You know, when you go to the beach and you walk around and you see, you know, your footprints in the sand and the water comes and washes away, it's real fast. It's not nothing that takes a long time. So I want to be something that, that stays around and that's what the, the song talks about.